This might be our boringest episode yet. Hi everybody, welcome back to CMP. My name is Ron. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to go on a different type of course here. Usually everything I talk about has something to do with 3D printing or ties into 3D printing. This episode definitely does too. But I'm taking a different direction with this. Now, if you guys don't know me, I am a fan of board games. And I do mean board games. I'm not talking like Monopoly or all the Parker Brother ones. I'm talking about different types of board games. Stuff that makes me think, you know, and makes me challenge my brain a little bit. And But just to have fun. But lately I've been getting upset with companies. I mean, look at these games. They're great games. The problem with games is not their size, not the shape of the boxes. That has nothing to do with it. What I have a problem with is dividers. As you're seeing right now, as I'm putting down games and just showing you the beautiful, the, the artwork that's on these boxes. But as you notice inside, they're basically in an ordered shape. They have places for everything to go in there. The dividers are well thought out on these games. What I have problems are games I pay a lot of money for, like the one you're seeing right now, and nothing, in, there's no dividers, just a bunch of baggies, and the cards aren't even together, like mix, get mixed up easily. That's annoying. Especially uh, games, this other game you're seeing right next to it is Galaxy Truckers. This game cost me about, I'd say about uh, $39, $40? No, sorry, $49, my mistake. Look at the pieces. It's just a mess. It, it makes me not want to play these games. And granted, taking time to sort out everything that's all mixed up just to play a game... It's a headache. And I'll have to say this. I actually do think this affects, like, time. We got to take our time to sort out all these parts, put them in the right order so we can play these games. And honestly, a bunch of baggies ain't going to help. So what the board gamer supposed to do? Well, luckily for me, I'm a three, I do 3D printing. And I got some solutions. So we're going to go on to Thingiverse here. And we're just going to have a look at them. And I'll go through them all. So bear with me here as we go up. And we go search for some board games information. So there we go. Let's open up our good friend Internet Explorer. Our Chrome in this case. And we're going to look on Thingiverse. Why? Because why build something when Thingiverse has it? There we go. Just made myself a little bit smaller. Let's type in the game I was talking about. Pandemic. Uh, there is Pandemic. And we have lots of little storage cases, which I really like. This one has interested me, and I like it because I like the way it holds the board pieces. This is item number number seven one, sorry two, one, seven zero six zero. And yes, I will have these in the links in the show notes. What I like about this, it's easy to stack your pieces inside. It's pretty good. But it doesn't come with any card storage options. Then I found this one right beside it. This is item 1272593. And this one actually has holders to hold the cards in. 
Hmm. So, I was also looking at another one, which I found here, which was a sliding case, which I didn't go with. But they did have another sliding case one right here for lids. So, looking at this, this is item number 1092892. It has the symbols here. Now, they're not attached to the actual box, which is kind of handy because, in turn, let me, let me maximize myself again so you guys can see what we're doing. Yeah, I'm not. I've just recently reinstalled everything, so my drivers aren't working right. So I do apologize that I have to do this manually. But with the magic of the internet, we have these boxes. As you can see, I've kind of made my own designs for them on the toss. But inside is what matters, is that they are set up for the board pieces. So in Pandemic, we have jewels, uh, like these little squares, and they're considered the the object we're trying to cure. And because all my medical supplies are your people, your characters and pill bottles are everything that's going here, I figured I'd put the cross on there. Make it easy to sort out. Also, with the magic of the internet, cards cases are here. So what I liked about these cages is that they're easy to open and easy to close, and they come in one for biohazard and one for your health. So you can easily sort your cards. And that's about basically it. It makes the box a lot easier to work with. Now, in my case, when I printed these cages, just to let you guys know, I also had to print a small divider block. The reason for this is because I have to cut out the cardboard insert so I can put these and this in there. The cages fit lengthwise with no problem. It's just they won't fit in the box properly. So I have to cut, made a new divider, and that's going into the box also. Why am I talking about board games in an instance like, yeah, well, okay, you 3D printed them. Okay, well, think about it this way. Have you, if you are a board game player or you know someone with board games, you might want to ask them, how long does it take you to set up that game? How much more effort do you have to put into, you know, packing it up and putting it together? You actually lose time playing the game. And what I'm saying here, guys, is if we were to, you know, help other people out, I mean, we have these printers. We might as well start printing for other people and help them out. It's just a great way to, you know, show support, you know, and get these game companies. Maybe they'll, they'll watch this. Maybe they'll understand that, yeah, we need to better think our packages or B, why don't we build a package out there, put it on like sites like Thingiverse and allow us to print out what we need. That would be even better uh, than say, giving us a box full of stuff and then no way to make it look good uh, or easy to put away. So I'm going to do one more video on this. Uh, we're going to be looking at another game and we are going to do some test runs with it before and then with the card setup information. Is it better? Is it faster? Do we get into more gameplay because it's not as we don't have to dig out all the parts. I'm going to find that out because me and a friend are going to try this out. So if you find this video interesting or your first time being here, I want you to hit the subscribe button, which will pop up right here. Ring that bell. Let me know what you guys think. Also comment down below. And remember, if you like what I'm doing, please hit the like button. It helps a lot for other people to discover our content out here. Without further ado, I do want to thank you all for watching. And like always, guys, have fun printing, you know, ask a board game friend. You need something printed for your board game? You might be surprised what you may get. Thanks, everyone. Bye now.